All right, Mike, we were talking before the show. You went skateboarding all day yesterday. Great day to do so. A little yeah. chillier today, but here's the question. Will it be skateboarding weather all week? For a couple days, yes. Okay. And that applies to anything else we want to do outdoors. Baseball season. Golf. Golf. Sam, I know that's your game. I know, I know. And take a look at these temperatures. Uh, average temperatures climb pretty quickly over the next several months, which means that if you're ready to hit the links. More golfing yes. and skateboarding. Uh, oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's been nice to be able to spend some time outside the last couple of days, and we've got a couple more nice days uh, coming to start off the week. It's the end of the week where things become a bit wetter. But take a look at the high temperatures here. So these are average high temperatures for Portland and Bangor. Bangor's average high temperature climbs more quickly because it's further away from the ocean. By June 1st, the average high temperature in Bangor is about 71 degrees, 69 degrees by June 1st uh, in Portland. I do think that we could actually introduce some 60s back into the forecast within the next 10 days, but probably not the next seven. I'll talk more about that in just a second. We still have some drought activity on the drought monitor here. Abnormally dry conditions highlighted here in yellow, but the uh, severe drought is still mostly located across northern Franklin, nor northern Somerset counties from Jackman down almost to the Rangeley area. The good news here, though, is that we'll start to see more snow melt. It might not be good news for the skiers and snowboarders or snowmobilers, but the good news as far as the drought goes is that all of our snow depth is confined to northern and western Maine. And as this melts, that should help to alleviate the drought condition just a little bit. Take a look at the water vapor satellite. See this big swirl ongoing right here? This is our upper level low and this is why we actually still have some clouds and some showers ongoing right now. We've been dealing with on and off showers over the last couple of hours across western Maine and areas down east. There's not a lot of support for these showers to linger all that long. Take a look. There's uh, more uh, robust shower activity across northern New Hampshire or northern Massachusetts rather toward Keene, New Hampshire and north into the whites. But on our side of the White Mountains, the main side of the White Mountains, they're breaking apart a little bit more. We do have just enough cold air to support some frozen precip across Coas County and into northern sections of Oxford, Franklin, Somerset and Piscataquis counties. And then this second area of showers that we're tracking here stretches from Bangor down past Ellsworth toward Machias and areas down east. That is just plain rain. But no matter where you are with temperatures still in the 30s for most, I don't think we're going to have to worry too much about any of those uh, frozen showers actually having any impact. Maybe some of the highest peaks in Maine. By six o'clock Monday, we finally kicked the rest of the moisture out. The lingering, uh, the chance for some lingering showers is certainly possible down east as our storm intensifies south of Nova Scotia. But for many of us, we actually end up with drying northwest wind coming in. High temperatures between about 45, 47 degrees to 50 or 52 degrees, somewhere in that window. And that's going to feel pretty nice with the sunshine out tomorrow. We stay quiet overnight into Tuesday, and Tuesday looks like a pretty nice day for us as well. We briefly get to enjoy these sunny conditions for Monday and Tuesday. We watch this warm front approach Tuesday, but there will be a second front that we have to watch across the Midwest. By the time Wednesday rolls around, we'll have two areas of low pressure to watch. One off of the East Coast, one in the Midwest. These pass through Wednesday and then this one Thursday and Friday. And in total, we could end up with some spots that see two inches or more of rain. The highest risk would be somewhere along the coastline. So I'm watching this pretty closely because if we end up with a lot of rain in a short period of time, uh, we could end up with some localized flooding issues. But for now, I think that two inches of rain over the course of three days, we should be okay. We'll be watching if that changes though. Seas tomorrow, two to four feet. Wind coming out of the northwest, 15 to 20 knots, gusting to 30 knots. Small crafts uh, will go in effect too. Pretty nice on Tuesday. Chance of showers Wednesday afternoon, rain likely Thursday. Showers continue into Friday. But that means that next weekend, Sam, it's back to golf and skateboarding weather, especially next Sunday, thinking 55, maybe even close to 60 degrees with sun. Well, my days off are Monday and Tuesday, and I really like the forecast because, full disclosure, I haven't played golf yet this year. Wait until next Monday and Tuesday. I know it's like 10 days away, but there's some signals that we could be back into the mid to upper 60s. That's, that's we'll why see. you're here. That's why we pay you the big bucks, Mike. <laughs> Thank you.